Hey guys, it's Jackie Mum from The Real Estate Maven, and uh, today I have um, a couple things I want to talk about, uh, a little bit of a real estate story time with you today. Um, I'm calling this um, Farting Clients, Fleas, and the Flu, okay? So I want to share with you real quick just some of the things that I've had to experience as a real estate agent. Um, I have a ton, I've been selling for almost 20 years, so I have a ton of hilarity in some of these stories that I could tell, but these are the three that kind of stick out in my mind right now. So I'm um, back kind of closer when I got started. I want to say maybe I was three years in. Um, I took out a couple and um, they were pregnant. And I want to say they were like maybe four months pregnant. And, you know, I was taking them out. They were relocation buyers and they were coming from, I forgot what state they were coming from, but they were coming from another state. And they um, were being, well, the wife was being relocated on her job because if she didn't relocate to Atlanta, to the Atlanta area, she would have lost her job. So she, they had like, they had to move, otherwise they wouldn't have a job. So um, they ended up contacting me. I was with a broker or a different brokerage back then. And they was part of the relocation department and all that kind of stuff. So I helped them. And they were pregnant. So one of the things about this chick was that she had like an obscene amount of gas. And so she kept like apologizing. Oh, the baby's making me fart. The baby's giving me gas. The baby's kicking me on the inside. And so I have a lot of gas. And I'm thinking like, okay, well, it could be all that cheese you had earlier for lunch. Because you're not taking them out for a couple times trying to find properties while they're, you know, it's basically starting their search here. And so we were sitting on a... Um, we were sitting on the stairs at one house and we were kind of just, you know, talking because it was a real scenic, like little foyer and everything it was really nice. So we were sitting on the stairs. The husband's like coming down the stairs. And so she and I are sitting on the stairs and we're just talking about the house or whatnot. And she's sitting here. This chick is like literally farting while we're talking and just kept saying, oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. Like, and so I'm like, okay, this is getting a little frustrating. The husband was like so embarrassed. He was like, do you need to use the bathroom? She's like, no, it's just gas. It's just the baby. He was like, that's kind of a lot of gas. He's like, excuse her, Jackie, you know, cause this is not, this is like an obscene amount of gas. And I'm like, yeah. And it was very smelly. And so at first I'm sitting there trying to like hold my composure and like, okay, I'm a professional realtor and all that kind of stuff, you know, not let it affect me. But I was like, okay, this is starting to get a little bit rude here. You know, like, do we need to take a break? Do we need to go take care of a couple of things just so you feel a little bit more comfortable? And she was like, no, I don't have to use the bathroom. So she was just felt fine with farting. And it's just like, that's not cool, man. You know, like we're driving around in the car together. Like, man, it was just not cool. Um, and so one other time I take had taken them out and, um, we were looking in this house and, um, I'm trying to remember. So we were looking in this house and, and walking around and the, um, it was vacant. And so we were late, we were running late, um, because we got stuck on some other house or whatever. They spent an inordinate amount of time at that. They probably shouldn't have and they ended up buying that house. So we're in this other house and they, um, we're looking through the closets or whatever and she opens up the hall closet and she's like oh my god oh my god and i was just like what's going on so i'm coming down i'm like at the top of the um hallway and i'm coming back down because i see that she's there in front of me and i see her opening the closet and a deck on blow up doll pops out of the freaking closet and i'm like what in the hell right so I can hear like, cause we're late. So we're running into like another agent's appointment. So I hear um, a car roll up and I'm just like, oh my gosh, somebody else is here. So I go and I lock the door, make sure the door is locked so they can't just walk in on us cause I was carrying the key with me from the lock box. And I'm just like, okay, dude, like what are we gonna do with this blow up doll? I'm not touching this blow up doll. I don't know what's going on with these people. I don't know when the last thing that thing was used or touched or how it was used. I'm not touching it. And so she's like, well, I'm not touching it. And the husband's just like, I'm not touching that. I don't know who's, you know, you know what has been in you know where. And so I'm like, okay, well, we can't leave the blow up doll here. So I was like, all right. So I go to these people's kitchen. I'm like, okay, they've got to have like some rubber gloves, plastic gloves, plastic wraps, ram wraps, something, garbage bags, whatever. And the house was very neat, except they just stuffed a lot of stuff that was in the closets. So I get some saran wrap and I, and I um, wrap my hand in it. <laughs> and then I go and I try to find, and the doorbell's ringing, right? I got this other real estate agent like, oh, you know, we're here for our appointment, blah, blah, blah. And so the buyer goes, the wife goes to the door and she like pulls like the blind back. She's like, give us just one minute. And she's like busting up laughing and 
farting this whole time, mind you, okay? So she's got the smell all in the hallway and in, in the living room for your area. And so I'm like trying to get in there. Like I just kind of cowboy up. I'm like, all right, let's, let's go ahead because I can't not let one, let this blow up doll stay in the middle of this hallway. Cause it'll be like, what were y'all doing? You know, the next were like, what were y'all doing? Ew, it smells like gas and blow up dolls all over the carpet, all over the hallway. So I go and I try to find the thing to let the air out, the little, the little cap things. So I find that and I'm like stomping on the, on the, uh, trying to get the air out. And the husband's like trying to help me get the air out. And so I just grab my little wrapped up hand and like kind of try to fold it up like crinkle it up and i threw it in the closet slammed the door and i'm like let's go because like this is just not this is not this is way not cool so they end up not buying that house they end up buying some other house that was like way out in marietta it was covered in wallpaper she seemed to love it so i was like hey if you love it i like it you know if i like it if you like it i love it let's go so that's those people the gas lady i'm just like oh my gosh and she just kept farting like we went out like three or four times and she just kept passing gas. And I'm like, this is like, oh my gosh, I know her more intimately on her insides and what she smells like than I think anybody else in the world, at least it still feels that way. Then my next story is the fleas. I have taken home fleas like five times in my career to my house um, with people who've had pets. And so when I go on listing presentations and I, I have to just ask them like, do you have um, you know, have you had any pest control services? Because when you have pests, pets, you do kind of tend to every now and again have issues with pests in houses. Um, not everybody, because some people will stay on it with the dog leashes and all that. But if you got an indoor outdoor dog, I mean, I'm sitting at one house doing a listening presentation and I'm like literally swatting myself because there's fleas jumping on me. And I'm like, you know what? I hate to leave abruptly, but I'm actually, and I'm actually, I'm allergic to flea bites. And I was like, I'm allergic to flea bites. They leave really bad marks on me. They itch for days and they bruise my skin. And so I unfortunately am going to have to leave until this is addressed. And we can't certainly put the house on the market full of fleas. And these people are like, oh, we're so sorry. We understand. We thought we took care of it. Like you knew you had fleas before I came over. You were just hoping that they wouldn't jump on me. Like let a sister know if you got fleas. And then we can just make arrangements for another day. Or you could just come to my office and we could talk about what it's going to take to get your Home, so why are you getting that problem worked out? Um, I've had, like I said, a total of like, I've taken home fleas five times, which I have to come home and bomb my house, vacuum my carpets every three to seven days, had to bomb my car. I mean, and then I had to deal with all the itchiness. And it's weird because the last time it happened was not too long ago. Um, I've got a seller that moved out of the house and they had an indoor outdoor cat and they had fleas and a couple other people had noticed them that came to the house. And then when I'm in there, I noticed they're biting on me and they were like all over my pants. They were all over my photographer's pants when he's taking photos or whatever. So I'm just like, oh gosh, this is not again, not again. I had to bomb my car. I had to shake out my clothes in my garage, spray that, put the clothes in the washing machine. I mean, and then, and then go around because they got into my office. I guess they got in my hair or my bag or whatever. So dealing with the fleas is not cool, guys. Like just, you got to do something about the pets. Or, or the fleas before you have people coming over because that would definitely blow a deal for real. Um, and it's just not, it's just not sanitary, but um, it happens. You know, a lot of people have pets, you know, introduced to their houses and they get fleas, but it's kind of embarrassing for them, you know, and it's embarrassing for me because I have to like, feel like I got to dismiss myself. I'm like, mm, I can't do this because y'all got, y'all got pests or bugs in your house. Um, and then the last story is the flu. So this was not so much funny, but, um, I probably sometimes can be a little over de overly dedicated to this business more than I should. And sometimes it's as to, to the detriment of my own health, right? I don't do this anymore, but back when I first started, I want to say this was like closer in the beginning of my career around 2001, 2002. And I had some people that were also relocation people and they were coming from Florida, I believe. And um, they saw a house that they really liked and we had already saw the house and it's, this was around, I remember this was Thanksgiving. Um, I didn't enjoy Thanksgiving that year. I stayed home cause I had the flu and I was like sick, sick, like beyond sick, sick. And I don't wish the flu on anybody. That stuff is horrible. If you never had a flu, you don't ever want the flu. It's horrible. Um, so I had the flu and these people were like, can you please just come meet us at the house. Um, we really love the house. We know you're sick. And I'm like, well, I don't want to get you guys sick, you know, especially if she might be pregnant. You don't want to be around anybody with a flu. And they're like, no, 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 we'll come get you. So I'm like, 
I got my 102 fever. I'm young. I think I might have been like 25. I have this fever. I'm sweating bullets. You know, I feel all kind of un like musty or whatever because I've been sweating. I'm feverish. You know, I'm trying to take stuff to help with this flu. Um, and I told them I was sick and they're just like, all you need to do is just let us in. And so I was like, okay, I'll do that. So they come to my house, which I like almost never have anybody do. They come to my house, pick me up, drag me across Cobb County. We're over in West Cobb somewhere. I open up the lockbox. I'm sitting there like at the, I was either at the bottom of the stairs or I was sitting in a chair in the foyer because I didn't even walk through the house. It was a vacant house so they could walk through it freely, but I was just like, I can't do this. So I'm like all slumped over and sick and feeling nauseous. And they're like, okay, we just need to see it again. Can you get us a contract by tonight? I was like, what? This is like Thanksgiving Eve. I have the flu. I was living in Atlanta by myself. So I didn't have anybody like kind of helping me. And I think I might've like, I might've been in Atlanta like two years. You know, I didn't have any family here at the time. Um, or if I did, they might've been out of town. Cause I remember I was like all by myself, like for the holidays, like, woe was me, you know, Thanksgiving and didn't have any family around and I had the flu and I was stuck at home and I don't think I was dating anybody at that time. So I'm just like, I'm like, do you see how sick I am? And you want me to get this contract out? Like, can we get it out by tonight? The agent, thank goodness was out of town. And she was like, Oh, just get that to me, you know, on Friday or Monday or whatever. You know, it was one of those houses that weren't really moving or whatever. So uh, I go home, I get a good night's rest and I get up like at 12 the next day and I just bat out the contract on Thanksgiving, send it to them, get it signed, get it over to the agent and then we go under contract, they buy the house and everybody's all happy, you know, happy and everything. But yeah, I wouldn't do that anymore. Um, no cell is worth my health and being out in November in Atlanta and it was cold and I had the flu and it wasn't even healthy for them. What I should have done was go ahead and hire another agent to cover me. But with it being the holidays and last minute, it might've been very difficult at the time to get an agent to cover me. Um, however, I'm, I'm sure I probably could have found one. It just would have been very difficult. And I've had some people that were just very impatient and I wanted to be accommodating even with the flu. And um, so like, we, I remember before we got out of the car, they're like, oh, you really are sick. Is he gonna have to carry in the house? I was like, no, 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 you don't have to carry me. You know, I'm trying to like tough it out or whatever. But you know, that was completely not healthy and not putting myself for first when it came to my own health. I really should have been in the bed. I probably should have went back to the doctor and gotten something. I mean, flu, you know, when it's viral bacteria, antibacterial or antibiotics don't do any help. But you really need to get the fever down and drink a lot of fluids. And I had no business being out in like 60, I don't even know what the temperature was. It was November, it was probably in the 40s here in Atlanta. 40, 50 degree weather um, with the flu, running around, halfway sick. Eh, don't do that to yourself. Um, don't be that dedicated. <laughs> Uh, although I was, I was a hungry, hungry agent back then. And I, and I wanted to be super accommodating because these people really wanted to buy a house and they wanted to work with me to help them, uh, buy a house. So I wanted to help them, but going forward, mm -mm, I would just hire another agent for the day to cover me if I knew that, if I feel like I have symptoms coming on. So those are my three little stories that come to mind right now that I wanted to share with you guys for sh uh, real estate story time. I hope you found them entertaining. Um, if I can help you buy, sell, or invest in real estate anywhere in the Atlanta metro area, especially on the west side in Fulton, Fulton County and Cobb County, I am your girl, Jackie Mumphrey, the real estate maven. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.